Today's math strategy video is modeling two-step word problems with multiplication. So we're going to look at our first problem here. So what we're going to use is a Tate diagram to help us solve this problem. So this is going to be one of the strategies that you will see in your lesson. So our problem says, Laura has 30 stamps. She has 12 letters to mail. Each letter needs two stamps. Does she have enough stamps and how many are left? So I'm gonna use this Tate diagram to help me. So I will have my, um, these are gonna represent my letters. So I'm not gonna do anything with the 30 stamps yet because I need to find out how many are going to be on each of these 12 letters. So, the tape diagram is going to represent the 12 letters, and then each one of these is going to have two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count these up, and I'm just going to skip count by two to help me. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So Laura's gonna need 24 stamps. Now, the first part of this problem, I can model this with a multiplication problem. So I'm gonna say our 12 letters times two stamps each equals 20. Four. Now, that's not the end of the problem. It does um, answer the question, does she have enough stamps? So that answer to that is yes, she does. And she is going to have some left over. So it says that she has 30. So if I want to find out how many she has left, I'm going to have to do another another step in this. So this is the set. So this was the first step that we had to do. Our next step is that I am going to have to subtract. And that would look like this if I wrote this up and down. But what I'm going to do is in order to solve this, I'm actually just going to count up from 24. So counting up from 24, I would have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that would be six. And Six. So if I count up and I can check that 24 plus 6 is 30. So that's correct. So I'm just going to count up to get that answer. So how many does she have left? She has six stamps left. Now I'm going to ask you another question. How many more letters could she send if she has six stamps left over? Well, she could send three more letters if she wanted to. Okay, let's look at another word problem that we're going to use multiplication to solve. And for this one, we're going to look at a number line because you will probably encounter a number line in your lesson. Um, this problem says Trevor bought six packs of buttons and one single button. Each pack has three buttons. How many buttons did he buy in all? And then we have another question. If Trevor needed 36, did he buy enough? Whew, there's a lot of information in this problem. So let's look at our number line here. So we actually see that this skips threes. And so this tells me that these can represent the packs of buttons. So like this would be a pack, another pack. So whatever your number line, whenever you see it, this probably represents how many are in the groups. So if I, if he bought six, I can just, I'm going to count this. So that would be one pack, two packs, three packs, four, five packs, six packs. He has six packs of buttons. And then it also, it says here that he has, he bought one extra. So that would be right here. So that would, that would be 19. So this would, I'm just going to do a plus one here to plus one button. 
so that just so I can remember. So he has a total of 19 buttons here. So how many buttons did he buy in all? He bought 19. So I can, um, this one, this one's going to be a two-step two. Um, and then even with this might be one more, we're going to challenge ourselves. So if I use, so here's one pack, two, three, four, five and six. So here I can see that as I multiply six by three, so six is my factor, the groups are my factor, and then this would be my product. Six times three is 18. And then he bought that single one. So that was the first step in answering the question. Here was the next one, 18 plus one, 19 total buttons. Now it says, um, it wants you to extend that thinking. It says, if Trevor needed 36, did he buy enough? Well, no, he didn't because we only have 19 here. So if I, he wanted to um, get all 36, if he needed to have 36 buttons, think about how many more would he need to have? Well, if I count it up from 19 to 36, so here tells me this would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and then there's two more here. He would have to have 17 more buttons. So no, he needs 17 more buttons. So that is the end of today's math strategy video.